In this video, we will walk through the process of running a group session on Hyrasmus. The first thing that you're going to do is find your first learner in your group. So that can be any of, of those who are present. Uh, and then you are going to find one of their sessions. Now, rather than starting the session by clicking this button, we are going to use this drop down and select start group session. Doing so will take me to a slightly different preparation page. So here I'm able to add additional group participants. So I have my first uh, here already, and I will select the other learners that I'm going to add. So we'll select um, Frank here, for instance, and you can see if there are various sessions that could be run, I can, I can choose which one is appropriate. I also have the ability to select uh, which user will be uh, running that particular uh, session as well. All right, so I'll go ahead and build out my group. Okay, and once I have all of my participate my all of my participants uh, there and ready, I will hit start group session. All right, so now I'm in my session, and as you can see, it's very similar to being in a direct one-on-one -on -one session. However, we have these tabs at the top, so I'm able to navigate to all of Bennett's programs here just as I typically would, uh, and then I can go over here to Frank's programs and take data on his uh, programs as well and I can toggle back and forth between them. Likewise, here I have Jax. Looks like he doesn't have any targets open there, but I have some targets here. Wonderful. All right, so if I want to add any additional clients to my group session, let's say we have someone who's a late arrival, I can hit this, pl this plus button and select which learner I'm going to be adding. So here I'll go ahead and add Rasmus. He only has one type of uh, session here and I'll hit add. Doing so will add him a, a new tab and then I can easily access that particular program for him as well. Now let's say we have a learner who is leaving before the rest. Uh, Frank has an early dismissal today, uh, or he leaves a little bit earlier than the rest of the group. I'll hit finish session, and then I can select specifically which learners I am finishing. So the default is it will select all of them, but you can just choose one if that is the case. And when you hit OK, um, that will remove Frank and his session for the day and allow you to continue uh, with your data for the remainder of your group. When you do want to end the session for all group participants, just ensure that all of those boxes are checked and hit OK, and that will end your session. You will need to go back to that learner's history page uh, for each of those particular participants and complete your session notes um, if you haven't already done so. So um, you are able to work intermittently through those session notes uh, while you are running the session, just as you would during a direct session. However, to finalize and sign off on them, you'll want to come here and complete your session notes separately.